Hello. Um, so I sort of managed to get Pi on recording. Uh, hello, Pi. I am recording. Yeah, this is Pi's invention. I stole it, actually. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Pi? What do you, th what, how do you feel about this? That. <laughs> oh, he can't speak. Sally, he was speaking just a minute ago. God damn it. We should have had record hit the recording button back then. Okay, so. Um, so I'll link, uh, or I actually put, uh, will put uh, Pi's video um, uh, where he actually uses a contraption to load chunks using pistons. And this is like when I, uh, when I upload a video about villager loaders. Hello. <laughs> this is the chunk loader. Well, the old design anyway. Yep. And then uh, like, that's uh, obviously um, block block, what is it called, block events. And then everyone was like, uh, yeah, block events cannot load chunks, but no one is thinking about using it with pistons. Um, uh, after uh, Pi's video, I'll go like, okay, we need to create some contraption that actually works. So that's when this kind of contraption comes into play. I build it, it doesn't work. And then I try it again today, uh, yesterday, and I go like, oh my God, it does work. And then and kind of stupidly, I should have been a little bit hesitant about it because uh, what it actually doesn't do is to send a block event every single game tick. You can see it easily. I'm going to freeze the game and we can see that it only, only pulses every um, every third game tick. So this is game tick freeze and I'm going to step uh, three times and we can see that it only pulses once every three times. That's the pulse. So I'm going to do two more, twice more. So two game ticks later, nothing has happened. So that's not good. And you need to have pistons firing every single game tick. At this third game tick, something happens. And then if you keep at it, um, you will only see pulses every three game ticks. Uh, you could put some more pistons all over this plate contraption and update more pistons even more, but um, there is no way to get around that. This device only operates, um, or pistons will only schedule block events, which is the thing you need to load chunks. Uh, every three game ticks. So then I went like, okay, if that thing only pulses every three game ticks, then what's the difference between that and this contraption over here? And this one also schedules block events every three game ticks. And I had the same idea, maybe using something like this, a smaller, more compact version, same problem here, every three game ticks. So in general, this contraption over here and this one over here, they're actually identical. Um, and then Aztec actually showed something really cool. Uh, there is a, sm a smaller version over here. Um, it uses comparators uh, with cauldron and water, and it only pulses with a power source of one. You can see that in, up in the small number here, it pulses between one and zero, a much less laggier. This one is goes up to 14 and 15 redstone power. It's much more laggier than the power, uh, power signal of one. So this one is much less laggy, so it's actually really good. So um, when after doing the video, I was like a little bit stuck. How do you get around this problem? And then I thought um, maybe we can get around it by um, having three pistons and make them out of sync with each other. So similar to this one, so you have three of them out of sync, and then you place three of these in this chunk. Uh, but the problem is when you place these and put them one game tick, out of sync from each other, then they schedule block events every single game tick. But you have a problem. Uh, when the chunk reloads, there is a bu another bug. I'll link that in the description. I've already made a video on it. When tile entities um, reload the chunk, they're scrambling their order. So whatever order this one is at, it fails. And I went like, OK, how do we fix this? And, and I probably put a message in a, in a and uh, what is called in the video, and like he also says, you need to have three pistons. And like, okay, how do we? <laughs> that doesn't work. So, uh, because if you reload these, they they, don't, they break and uh, they they sort of get out of sync. Uh, and I went, okay, maybe there is another way to get uh, them to resync if you if they go out of sync, or when when they're not scheduling every every single game tick, um, scheduling in block events. So this contraption over here is a very crude version where it. Um, checks if every single game tick you schedule a block event. And this is how it works. This p piston is out of sync from this piston and uh, it sends a signal through this repeater into this line over here. And 
unless um, all these three pistons are perfectly out of sync, then this redstone, sig uh, redstone line over here uh, will be um, pulsing. So if this piston is not uh, out of sync with this one and this one, uh, maybe it, these two are synced, um, then there will be a one game tick pulse from this redstone line. And then this repeater over here starts blinking. Um, and then I show this to the dark guys and as the gets on and then we compact this setup and make this setup over here. So this is pretty much this thing over here with three pistons out of sync with each other and the reset system to make sure that if they if they don't get out of sync because they chunk reload or because of random reasons, then you can uh, resync them. And then um, we put the pistons in a three, th these are the three pistons, one, two, three. And these repeaters, all three face into this one block. And this is the redstone dust. This is the same redstone dust as this one over here. So this redstone dust is always going to be on because at least one of these re uh, repeaters will always stay on. So if I turn this device on and, oh, somehow it doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> nice, I think I broke it somehow. Here it's working. I think it's locational. This device is a bit locational. Um, maybe because of the locationality. Oh, there was a cauldron missing over here. Yeah, that's not good. Um, this machine over here works. There was a cauldron here that was missing. Um, so now we can actually see these pistons firing and you need to have pistons firing to schedule a block event. This is something that Pi showed and this is based on his idea actually, or his contraption. And then you can see that there is one uh, observer that is pulsing every single game tick and this redstone dust is staying on. If this piston um, doesn't detect this redstone dust, then it's going to reset the whole system and make sure that these pistons uh, go out of sync. So we're going to look for the cr uh, for the square and see um, when when we move out of this area that this chunk is actually reloading and it actually reloads even with player unloading. So both auto saves and player unloading. But there is a problem. The system has a ten game tick uh, reset time, and because of this ten ten game tick reset, if the player unloads it and an auto save hits it at the same time it sort of fails and the chunk unloads. And so you have to come back here and reload the chunk and then reset the system. So it te the 10 game ticks is kind of a, you can maybe shorten that ga 10 game ticks a little bit, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe someone else can take a look at the redstone and shorten that. Um, so probably should we move out of this area and then we can uh, use the chunk debug tool and see if uh, I have it open. Sadly, you, you will probably not be able to see it by. And as we move out of this area, and there we go. So these are the chunks that are being reloaded, and this is the chunk that uh, we are interested in. I'm actually zooming in on it. That chunk over there, the one that has a small square, that is the interesting chunk um, that actually reloads. So if we move back into this area and then load it, and then player unload it by moving out of the area again, uh, in theory it should unload, but it actually because of this contraption, it actually reloads that chunk. So that device that we have built basically is a safe um, auto save and player unload safe chunk unloading similar to villagers, villager un unloading. Uh, obviously it, it is unreliable if the auto save and the player unloading happens within those 10 game ticks. Oh, by, by the way, behind me is the device from Earth computer. He will probably make an explanation video on it soon. Um, so, Pi, how is this new comeback to Minecraft? Uh, what, are you, uh, what are we going to see from uh, from you next? Um, maybe some AI stuff? I will make a video in the next year, I think. Oh my god, next year. We will be Indeed. waiting. It will be awesome. We will be waiting for Pi's video. He has promised us the biggest invention in Minecraft in about one year. What is it about, Pi? I have no idea. <laughs> He was on attention all year, for a year. Was it you that invented TNT looping? Well, it was my run. Oh, it was... But I, I was looking on at the code, uh, like Myron told me, hey, you should look in the code, maybe you would find something, and we sort of together find the variant that is movable TNT duplicator. Oh, nice. It was a collaboration between you and Myron. There we have it, folks. The inventor of TNT. It's mo mostly Myron. <laughs> <laughs> mostly Myron. 
So this is the guy that everyone everyone on Dog hates. Sorry, Pi. But anyways, <laughs> it was really nice. I hope you guys will find some use out of this contraption. Go and build this device. I'm not sure if it actually works in 13. Maybe it works. Pi, does it work in 13? He's the expert. Probably. I, 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 I think it should. Anyways, that was uh, that was interesting from Pi, his new invention, and uh, it led to some other chunk loading discoveries. I am pretty sure that Pi will make another video in about, he said, a year. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to come back to Minecraft. He has uh, he will quit his job and become a YouTuber. Next up, uh, Pi's survival. Looking forward to that. Uh, anyways, goodbye. I am still a student. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye. Okay, uh, so Aztec got on and he thought that we should be able to compact the device. This is the old device over there. And it was kind of big. And it was it had actually not a 10 game tick reset, it had a 31 game tick reset, which is not really good because that can actually ruin the device when the player unloads it, like moves away from this area, as it's uh, also safe for player unloading. But because the player can leave and then autosave can hit um, within those 31 game ticks, it can actually unload the device and it's not really reliable. So Aztec thought we should be able to get rid of some of that 31 game tick time. So we, we uh, worked on it. Aztec, can you show what's going on here? Um, okay, so basically you've got the three pistons that are the same. Uh, one on the back. But instead of having... Um, a system where you retract a block and take an output from that. We have an instant inverter. So as soon as as soon as they get out of sync, this the one behind this sandstone block um, is going to retract, and all of these pistons are going to extend. And then after six game ticks, they're all going to be in sync again. So there are only I think three or four game ticks. Uh, where it's not completely safe, so the likelihood of it breaking is incredibly small. So it's not 100% safe, but it's close to. So yeah, the main thing about this is it's just compacted, but it's also much safer. It's better than the other one, at least. And it's also a little bit cheaper to build, so... Th there's a small, small chance. If you leave the area and this device is running, uh, don't rely on it being 100% safe. Just make sure that when, when you do s sort of leave the area and this device is running, um, you send a signal to re reload this chunk and then it should be safe. Because when this chunk is loaded and the autosave, um, it's not exactly hitting the autosave within those six game picks, then it's working 100%. Um, so there was a mistake here built. Um, if you want to build one of these, don't build it right next to the chunk border. You see this redstone dust is blinking and it's loading this neighboring chunk. Make sure that you build this device two chunks from the chunk border. This is safe. This is not safe. This is one block from the chunk border. So whatever you do, build this device inside of the chunk and make sure there is a two block gap from the machine, from any redstone source to the edge of the, uh, the chunk. Thanks. thanks Thanks. for watching. This was a monkey project, by the way. Uh, join the server, research Minecraft stuff. We're going to save world hunger. Um, Earth's wireless redstone is going to be, uh, explanation is going to be out. He's going to explain everything about hash maps. Earth, what, do you, uh, what is the, the thing that you're going to explain about hash maps? Can you explain to us? Now, I don't understand it yet. Oh, he, okay. He, he doesn't understand it yet. <laughs> he invented the machine that he doesn't understand. Okay, that's perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, be, uh, be sure to watch Earth fail at his redstone explanation. Oh, bye.